We're now at fedsdatacenter.com, which has the exact salaries of 2 million federal employees. Employees in national security work are excluded. As you can see, you can look up both federal employees and U.S. postal workers here, and we're going to click on the federal employees link. You can search by last name only or by last name, comma, first name. You can also choose various years or search all years. For lots of hitch, change show entries from 10 to 100 entries. Let's now test the database by searching for Abrams, comma, Ruth, which was already here when we arrived. Now let's choose year 2015. And there she is along with her exact salary, the agency she works in, her location, and also her position. To get her work history, simply search all years instead of just the current one. Notice that the Ruth Abrams we were looking at was with the government for only just a year. But you can see five years of history plus a middle name for another Ruth Abrams. The middle name can help you in Google searches if you ever want to background her further. Before you decide if someone is lying to you because they're not in the database, be sure to do a second search based on occupation or agency. The reason is that sometimes a name can be found there even when nothing shows up in a current name search. So here I am looking for a physical scientist in the occupation field. Jeanne Dietrich turns up as a physical scientist, but when we do a name search, we don't find her. Likewise, even when we add an initial at the end, the same result occurs. We don't find her. This is why it's so important to verify in two ways and not just by a name. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please feel free to subscribe, share, like, or comment. Thanks again.